Doctors are often faced with unique pathologies that demand renewed approach. This has created room for the inclusion of 3D printing to save lives and improve quality of care for patients. This particular one is uh, of a patient who had a tumor on his scalp that was going into the skull and uh, we'd been consulted by the neurosurgeons um, to help in terms of planning the size of the mesh that they would use to fill the gap once they had removed the tumor. So that is another interesting case. This is actually our most recent case. Dr. Ogalo and his consulting team of doctors use these innovative approaches to healthcare to offer quality services, especially to the poor. A lot of the work that we've done so far has been completely pro bono um, to just give patients access to the cutting edge technology and not make it such um, a distant cry or something that you know, they only hear of or see of on, on television. When the case of the conjoined twins presented, a 50-strong multidisciplinary team of doctors were faced with the challenging task of conducting the operation at the Kingata National Hospital in Nairobi, and the introduction of 3D cast breached that gap. We had never had um, a case that was as complex in, just in terms of the surgery alone and everything surrounding the the patients. So this presented uh, a challenge to the entire team. Because this is the one that we had to get right. What we have is the two children sitting back to back, so to speak, joined in the center. And we're then able to use this particular cast, even intraoperatively as we're operating on the twins, to, to guide us, to use it as what we call a surgical guide. The doctors performed the surgery for 23 hours. Now the priority was of course, one was to preserve the lives of both the children. And two was to ensure that after the surgery, even it being a successful surgery, we had to make sure that the twins were able to walk at the end of the day. After the successful separation of the conjoined twins, the use of 3D printing technology under the team, a prestigious publication in the Journal of Pediatric Surgery Case Reports. We see a place or a point at which Every hospital in the country, public and private, does have an in-house 3D printer with 3D printing technicians or people experienced in the field to be able to generate these kind of, of models to improve the care, the quality of care across the board for these kind of patients. We are trying to see, or we actually have I mean, projects in the pipeline for not just printing um, physical anatomic models such as these ones, but taking a leap further and actually trying to 3D print live tissues and live organs. And for the next generation of medical professionals set to march this reality, there is a need for change from the point of entry at the medical schools. We need to train innovators in medicine as opposed to just uh, clinicians. And once we start doing that, then it opens up the whole healthcare industry to a lot more possibilities and a lot more solutions for our own people. In Africa, the pace of adoption of technological advancement faces several barriers including finance, lack of policy and lack of adequate support within the sector. However, positive outcomes from well-researched innovative approaches are creating space for both medicine and technology to leverage on each other's strengths for the greater good. Burial Oro CGTN.